Oh my goodness gracious. Hey folks, we doing good how we feeling tonight? <laughs> good. I feel great. I uh, bit about me, you guys. I work during the day as a delivery cyclist for Uber Eats. So it is just fantastic to be here tonight doing what I truly love, which is staying warm. And <laughs> and I do this. I do this in Manchester. So what I've realized is it's not actually my job to deliver food to people. It's my job to get cold and wet so other people don't have to. I'm currently employed as an umbrella, you guys. <laughs> Which, I don't know, it honestly, it doesn't feel great to be a human umbrella, but I can't talk to you guys about that tonight because it's bad luck for me to open up indoors. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been, uh, you know, I've been in the UK for about a year and a half now, and there's, there's certain things I love. I love this one Treat is my favorite, but I have no idea how to pronounce it. So when I say the word haribou, <laughs> do you guys, what am I, what am I talking about? Harambe, Harambe yes, it's. <laughs> They're like, I know that I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I just love saying it anyway. So if you don't like it, well, haribou who, you motherfuckers, it'll be. <laughs> We're going to be okay. My friend, do you like Haribu? Are you a Haribu fan? Oh, yeah, get way into it. What's your, what's your brand? What do you like, a Star Mix girl or a Tang Fastic gal? <laughs> <laughs> I love Jelly Bean. That's not one of the answers. I'm sorry. <laughs> you try and set them up for success. <laughs> I don't know. I like the. I'm a huge fan of Star Mix myself. Star Mix is amazing. You've got all the best candies in the Star Mix. It's like a fucking Expendables movie. <laughs> Just a collection of celebrities. You've got gummy bears. Ah, oh, how great are gummy bears? Love. Okay. Well, we are nonplussed on gummy bears. <laughs> I love them. I think gummy bears are great because it is high time us humans started being the ones eating the bears for a change. That's what I say. Yeah, you guys, you guys don't get this. You didn't grow up in Canada like I did where bears can just kill you. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. That is the terrifying thing about bears. If you just run across a bear, you're like, oh, I'll run away from it. The bears are faster than you're like, oh, I'll climb a tree. It's like the bears can climb trees. It's like, oh, I'll swim across the river. The bears have boats. <laughs> the only thing, what you're supposed to do to deal with a bear is you're supposed to lie down and play dead. And it's not to seem like you're not a threat. It's just to sort of flatter the bear and appeal to their giant egos so they can walk past and be like, yeah, that's right, you're dead. I didn't even do anything and you're still dead. That's how fucking tough I am, bear. Hey, dead guy, watch me scratch my back using a tree. <laughs> it would hurt you, I find it relaxing. Hey, dead guy, I'm eating honey out of a beehive. <laughs> okay, that bit needs a little work. I think bears are funny, you guys. <laughs> and that's just item one of the star mix. You still have the rest of the mix. You've got the Coke bottles and the rings. What I like to do is take the ring and put it on the base of the Coke bottle and make a little Coke ring. Well, that's a trick. <laughs> You got the hearts for all you romantic types out there. And then, inexplicably, there is a fried egg. <laughs> Where I'm just like, I'm like, what is that doing? There? Like, hey, Haribu, if you're trying to convince me that this is a breakfast treat, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Nothing else required. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I made out with a heckler recently. Have you guys ever done that? Everybody? Great. Sounds good. <laughs> This is the thing, it was in this, uh, it was in Edinburgh and there was a show going on and there were these two guys sitting like in the front row like you guys are. And, uh, and, and they were chatting throughout the entire show. So when it came time for me to go on stage, I was like, 
I got a line in my brain. I'm going to come up. I'm going to say to these guys, I'm going to flatten them. And it didn't work like I expected, but the results were quite amazing because I came up and I was like, hey, man, if you keep flapping those lips around, I'm going to come down there and give them a big kiss. <laughs> And this guy reacted in the craziest way. He was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, he reacted like I wanted to fight. He was like, you want to kiss? I'll kiss. I'll kiss the shit out of you. <laughs> let's fucking kiss, bro. <laughs> and we did. It was, that was a thing. <laughs> like... <laughs> Because I was like, I can't back down to that point. So we're getting like closer and closer and closer. We're playing gay chicken. And it's, fan <laughs> <laughs> and it's fantastic because what my friend doesn't realize is that I am actually gay and very brave. So, so yeah, we uh, made out and then we popped out of it. And um, I tried to go on to material, but it was just like too crazy. Like that all happened in the first five seconds of the show. So I did material wasn't working. I messed around with that guy a bit more. Did material, wasn't working. Messed around with that guy a bit more. Long story short, I fucked that dude. And... <laughs> the thing. I highly recommend it. If you need to shut down a heckler, just give them chlamydia. It will <laughs> do the trick. <laughs> I got this cool gay tattoo. It is the Triforce from The Legend of Zelda, and I put the pride colors on it. And uh, I like it a lot because for me... It uh, represents having the strength, wisdom, and courage to blow a bunch of weirdos, which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> My brother has one of the worst tattoos I've ever seen, you guys. He's got a tattoo. It's on his ankle. It's of a watch, and the time is set to my mom's birthday. What the f is that about? It's insane, because first of all, that's not where a watch goes. Second, that's not how a watch works. Third, he still forgets her birthday. <laughs> all the time. It's like, hey, Kurt, you needed a reminder on your phone, not a Da Vinci code on your flesh. <laughs> Maniac. <laughs> he's weird. I'm having a hard time relating him to him, too, because I'm just super gay these days. And he's like... <laughs> He's super straight, and, um, and you know, so he called me up the other day, and he was bragging, and he was like, hey, Brandon, you know what I did? Had a threesome. He had one of those. I was like, what, this afternoon? Because, yeah, I did. <laughs> he was like, well, it must have been hard to set up. I was like, I wasn't even trying. Here's what happened. I was sitting at home. My phone beeped at me. I looked at it. It was an offer for a threesome. It's like, you know how you get emails? I get three emails. <laughs> <laughs> then he was like, well, did you have to travel far? I was like, across the street. <laughs> it was incredible because I live in Manchester's gay village where what we've done is we've collected everyone that wants to have sex with each other in one handy spice rack like location <laughs> and that's what it goes okay guys uh i'm out of town or, pff, i'm out of town boy what a humiliating flub that was <laughs> i gotta go you guys are cool <laughs> see you later